Welcome back everyone, this is episode number 2 of this tutorial series on Arduino for complete beginners. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So in this tutorial, we will get everything set up by installing and configuring the Arduino IDE so that you can start to send programs to your Arduino. After that, you will be 100% ready for the next tutorials. And here, to follow the tutorial, you will need to have with you an Arduino board as well as a USB cable to connect the board to your computer. Let's now install the Arduino IDE. So first of all, what you can do is uh, open a new web browser and you can uh, type on Google Arduino IDE. Okay, you will get to a page here on arduino.cc website. So from there, you can go on the download section here. If you don't have this download section here, well, you should have a menu somewhere on the top where you can find this section. And now here you can see on the right, we have all of the different operating systems that you can use. So Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So choose whatever uh, version corresponds to your operating system. So for me, I have Windows 10. I'm going to use here Windows 7 and New Year. So you click here and this will make you save a file, an executable file. So you save the file. Okay. And once the file is downloaded, so this can take a few minutes, depending on your internet connection speed, you can just click on that executable so you can just execute it you can say yes here and then you can install the Arduino IDE just like you would install any other software so make sure that all the boxes are checked here next and if you want to change the path you can do that here and then install and you can wait this would take a few minutes maybe all right, and now the Arduino IDE is correctly installed, so you can close that. And to be able to start the Arduino IDE, well, in your desktop, you should have now a shortcut. Here you can double click on this shortcut. And the Arduino IDE is correctly installed, you just launched it. And if you don't have a shortcut, well, you can directly go on the search bar here and search for Arduino and simply open the Arduino IDE. Before we go any further, there are some small improvements you can do to get a better experience when using the Arduino IDE. So first open the Arduino IDE and you might notice that the text may be quite small for you to read. And when you program, it's actually better to be comfortable with the size of the text, okay? So what you can do first is press Ctrl or Command and use the scroll of the mouse, okay, to zoom in and zoom out, okay. And this way you can actually um, make the size of the text bigger. If you want a more permanent solution, you can go here on File, okay, Open Preferences, and here you can see the font size. So 15 was the one. I just have here with the zoom uh, with the mouse and you can choose any font you want. Uh, I'm going to put 18 for example and I'm going also to scale the interface a little bit to 130%. You don't need to change that. Okay, this will make, for example, the, the green buttons here bigger. But what you can do is keep this with automatic and change the font size with something that you are comfortable with, okay? It may be 18, it may be 16, or it may be 22, whatever makes you more comfortable. I'm going to click on OK, and actually I'm going to restart the Arduino IDE. Okay, so now it's actually much better. One thing we can do also is we go back to preferences. We can put line number. So display line number. You can check this option, click on OK. And now you have the line numbers here. This will make it easier for you when you need to communicate with other people about your code. And your overall program will be a little bit more readable. And now the last thing I'm going to do is to actually change the font 
okay for the text because uh, as you can see maybe the font here is not the best one for readability purpose so what i'm going to do is go on file preferences again and here you can't directly change the font on this menu you need to go to this file here so on the bottom you should have a file this will you click on this this will open a new file manager okay and what i'm going to do so i'm going to close the arduino ide now we are on this file manager here and i'm going to click on preferences.txt so i'm going to open it and i'm going to search for font so editor dot font here we just found it and the font the basic one is monospaced here on uh, window and then you have as you can see the size of the font and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change monospaced to consolas so c-o-n-s-o-l-a-s -S. this will be the font i will use and if you want you can also change and see if it's better for you and it's very important note that you should first quit the arduino ide and then edit the file okay don't edit the file while the arduino ide is still running so i can save the file okay save preferences.txt and now i can start arduino ide again and as you can see the font here is actually better for readability and one quick note here uh, actually here you can see the font and then plain you may want to change it to bold but actually this option doesn't work for now with the arduino id so you can just change the font here and then the size great you now have the arduino ide installed and set up on your computer now take your arduino board and the usb cable which goes with it simply plug your arduino to your computer using the cable and now how to make your arduino ide know that your arduino board is connected to your computer well you can go on tools menu here and you will need to check two things first here board so tools and board you will have different kind of board so for example arduino uno arduino nano mega leonardo etc so if you are using an arduino uno like i'm using now make sure that arduino uno is checked here okay this is the first step and then you will have here to check the port so tools port and make sure that the correct port for the correct board is selected you may have multiple ports here and you maybe don't know which one correspond to your arduino so for me it's already detected as an arduino uno okay but if you don't know which port is which well there is a simple way to know you can so click here you can unplug your arduino board so disconnect it from your computer then you go on tools so you can see i don't have any port selected or maybe you will have different ones for example com1 com3 etc and then you can plug your arduino back okay and go on tools again and you should see now the port is here you can also click on here get board info okay this will tell you this should tell you depends on the board but what kind of board do you have so you are sure you don't make any mistake okay and this is a basic program so this is the minimum code for an arduino program this code does actually nothing i'm going to explain all that later in the course okay but for now what you can do once you are sure that board and ports are correct here you can click on verify so this button this will compile the code okay you can see here the green bar okay down compiling and then you can click on the upload button here and this will so compile and upload the code to your arduino and once you see down uploading it means that this program is actually uploaded correctly to your physical arduino board all right that's the end of this episode if you found it useful you will definitely like my full complete course on arduino named arduino for beginners this course contains about seven times more content than the series 
you can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.